Hello, everyone. Welcome to Photography. I'm Shelby Margaret Hageman. The students call me Miss Margaret, but you can call me Shelby or Miss Margaret. Either way is totally fine. Um, so a little bit about me. I teach both photography and stained glass, but I do love all sorts of different types of art, different art mediums. I really like exploring different types of art and trying new things through art and also seeing lots of other people's perspectives through art and what other people have to share through art. Um, I also love sharing all of that with students. So I absolutely love art and being able to then share that with other people. Um, I do find art to be really important, especially right now. I think right now we all need art more than ever and we all really need a way to be creative in our lives. Um, so me personally, and I've seen it with lots of other people that art can really help people get through difficult things and difficult times. Um, so I think it's really important right now to find some way to be creative. Um, it helps people either focus on something more positive when negative things are happening, um, and it also helps people express themselves. So it's something that I've really been trying to instill and encourage in students. Um, as far as what types of art I really like, I like portraiture photography. Um, other things I do in my spare time is gardening. Um, this here is an image of my pumpkin family from last year. I am about to harvest my pumpkins from this year. So in intermediate photography, we have been doing a few different projects to review different aspects of beginning photography. And that included some of the elements of art, the principles of design, different aspects of composition. So we've been working on projects so far, like our color block project, where we look at the element of art of color. We've also been reviewing a lot of Photoshop lately, um, some of the basics so that we can look at some more advanced techniques in our upcoming projects. And we're also going to be looking at a few different techniques, a few different perspectives in the actual aspect of taking photography, um, including this one here, which is a refraction project. Um, in intermediate photography, we're also going to be looking a lot at darkroom photography. We're going to be using film cameras and using a lot of darkroom techniques to create prints. Um, and then some important information. So if a student needs to catch up on any missed work, if they're out of the classroom for a little while, um, they can catch up on any um, assignments on Schoology. So all the assignments are posted on Schoology. So some parts of projects can be done at home or outside the classroom, such as actually taking photos of different things for different projects. Um, the Photoshop aspect will have to be done in the classroom, um, but the part of actually taking the photos can definitely be done at home. So um, for any of those things, that's all on Schoology. Um, with late assignments, students, if they fall a little behind on some assignments, they can still turn in any of them throughout the semester. The deadlines for each assignment are really important, though, um, because that keeps everyone on track, makes sure that everyone doesn't fall too far behind. So those deadlines are really important to keep up with, but um, if an assignment is missed, um, it can students can always go back and uh, submit those or resubmit assignments that they might not uh, feel like they have completed well enough. Um, as far as grades go, Schoology is the place for the most up-to-date up grades. And so I grade everything on Schoology and then sync Schoology to parent view and student view about once a week. Um, so that should be up-to-date frequently there but Schoology is the absolute most up-to-date up place for grades. 
Um, and the last thing I have here is the museum and gallery visit. So um, that is a semester long assignment for all art classes. Um, students are required to go to two museums. That could be an in-person museum, an in-person art museum um, or gallery, or it could be um, online museum tours, anywhere where there's a lot of information about an artwork and the opportunity to view that artwork online. And so I've given lots of students lots of different resources for that. Um, but that could be a virtual tour, online version of looking at art in a museum, or it could be actually going in person to an art museum. And that, again, is a semester-long assignment, so students have the whole semester to do that. Um, but I am really encouraging students to get that done sooner than later so that um, it's not something that's pushed to the very last minute at the end of the semester. Um, if you ever need to contact me for anything, any questions you may have, any concerns you need to bring up to me, um, feel free to contact me. My email is shegeman at nsd.org. Um, and so that is the quickest way to get in contact with me.